Big influencer, you know. Hey, I'm about to say, get back though after it hot. You said, we love, we love, we love. Oh, we good. Oh, we good. We hanging the fuck out. I'm chilling. We love. Hey, do we want to do fine, guys? Yeah, we hanging in this bitch right now. Content Z, heavy rotation, heavy motion. We locked in heavy, goddamn. Men working, mingling, goddamn. Hanging out and shit. We had the bottle girl bring us flashes for our own bottles, nigga. We hanging out. We hanging out. Hey, let them know who we were in that first goddamn guest tonight. Let them know. It's your king, CNLJ, though. We outside for real. We popping out. We in the old, you know what I'm saying? You know that. I get it. We hanging out, goddamn it. We taping the old boy. Straight out of the old, goddamn it. Hanging out, bitch. So let them know, let the people know what you be having going on, where they can find you doing this shit. Like, that. what platform would you be more having motion on and all that, though? So if you don't know, now you know. You know that. I'm a big influencer. I'm a big Choreographer, dancer, um, self talk. I'm trying to get into dance classes and shit like that. Okay. So a lot of people don't do that. Especially in this era, like of TikTok. Look, look over there. There's straight TikTok dancers. You know what I'm saying? That's all they do. I'm trying to get a little bit different and like step out of my shell. Right. Go to like the dance room, learn from other chore choreographers, and like learn different shit. Because when you're from the hood, niggas don't teach you that. You're right. Niggas don't tell you if you want to chase a dream, chase it. You know what I'm saying? I had to go through the struggle for real. Right. Okay, so with that struggle, what's up with the roadblock? You said to go through the like, I know you're going to be fucking with me. So, or like people looking at you like it's crazy, like, you know, like you say, in the hood, you are niggas doing that. So, like, how was that overcoming that, looking at motherfuckers, like, having to go through that shit? So, I'm going to start out from the beginning. Okay. So, you understand. But, in high school, I looked up to, like, Chris Brown and shit like that. Like, like in middle school, too, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But, when niggas start seeing that, and I start trying to dance and shit, at first, everybody was, like, laughing. Niggas were looking at me crazy. Because, like, I was kind of big, and, like... It just ain't go, you know? Right. Like, you over here, you bigger here, yeah. you got serving and shit. Yeah. So like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me though, it was on a different level, cause I'm like, if Chris Brown can do it, nigga, I can too. Right, 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 right. So I actually stopped dancing, bro. I stopped dancing because like, bro, I was getting bullied, all of that shit, bro. And even in high school, like, it was pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they hate. And I didn't understand that. Like, when you a jit and you want to be cool. Right, 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 right. And all of that shit. Yeah, so I pretty much stopped dancing and started doing hood nigga shit. Like, getting that hood nigga mentality, start doing dumb ass shit. Start getting arrested for dumb ass shit. Like, I was doing stupid shit because I was like, damn. I'm trying to dance and fit in, but there's niggas laughing, so I'm like, fuck it. Let me, let me go ahead and rob this nigga. Right, right, right. And get yeah, I'm out with start thugging yeah, through, yeah. And, and now I got, now I'm starting to sit. Right. So that's how I would think about it. But hey. Like, so did you have that problem? Like getting in trouble, getting in bunk shit out here? Hell yeah. Man. Bro, I got arrested like three times at 16. And then at that, I got put on probation. That's what kind of like saved me. I'm not gonna lie. The only reason why is because you know black moms, bro. My mama, when she found out I got arrested, she beat my mama. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, bro. hey, you be still more scared of your mama than the crackers, ain't no. Hey, be more scared of your mama than the crackers, ain't yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, you be, you be more scared than your mama than the damn police. Bro, bro. bro. my mama wasted no time. She got me out of jail. Bro, she waited until 6 a.m. in the morning. I got arrested after school. I got out at 3. Why am I getting picked up at 6 a.m.? Yeah, the whole damn now. I'm in that bitch. Let it ride, goddamn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ride out, nigga. Bro, she, she got me in the whip. She pulled out to the first red light and beat my fucking ass. Throw your ass Green up. light, don't matter. She say, beat my ass in the street. She took my ass. That be crazy. That your be mama be about to catch a charge because you got a charge. Bro, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Bro, after that, like, I was on probation, but my mom made it so bad for me, like, my, my PO, she said, what time do you want your son home? The, the regular time is 6 at 6. Six. After you get out of school, you got three hours. My mama said three. I get out of school, I'm in the crib. I can't leave. 
I'm on probation already. You go, you go tell me to get out of school and go straight home and I can't leave. Yeah. Until I'm 18. Yeah, until I'm 18. That's that's what she did to me. So I was on restriction type shit. I couldn't really do nothing. So like literally bro, like that shit was crazy. So after that, that's when I started picking up dancing. Because I could not leave my crib. I couldn't do nothing. I go, yeah, you were just in there fucking. I'ma yeah. just got down. The most I could do was smoke a little weed and come right back in. You feel me? Yeah. So did she support that? No! Your mom is not at first! Not at the first! Dancing? Not at first! The only reason why is because all the fuck shit I was doing, she was like, It kept you in the house, yeah. yeah. She was like, You need to get a job. You need to pay these, these uh, court fees and shit. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm like, Damn. Before I even got arrested, though, I was trying to get a job. But my mom, like, We in the hood. So she, like, I don't even want my baby walking down the street. He gonna get shot. Like, that's how she was thinking, like, mm. me, like, I already got face. Like, niggas already know me, I'm already lit. So, the motion was already set, but, you know what I'm saying? She believed now, though. She believed. This is what happened, though. Like, bro, the thing was, I built, like, I told y'all how them niggas was fucking with me and shit. Like, my mentality was like, I, I can't dance. I'm scared to, to dance in front of people. Like, literally, bro, like, all the way to my senior year, I had, like, a month left of graduating. Like I was that scared to dance And it was like a month left of school And um It was like let's say the principal assistant Type shit cool. He held The whole talent show type of thing He was pretty much just telling me He was like bro I see you dance You be dancing out of school and shit Like in class and shit You be fucking around okay, Being a talent man. show So I was like alright bet They gave me a month Bro my mom pulled up, my probation officer pulled up, pretty much. My grandma pulled up, everybody pulled up, right? The whole school there. This is my first time dancing, like in front of a, like a crowd. Bro, like, I went on stage, I destroyed that shit. The, the whole stadium screaming for me, right? I lead the stage. The contestants, niggas that's going against me, running up to me, oh my god, what the fuck, like, I did not know you could dance like that, like, what's going on? I walk up, my mom crying, I got to be on, I'm like, what just happened, like, me, in my, in oh, so my, so that when you knew, like, okay, yeah. I, I yeah, got yeah, something, yeah. yeah, okay. So, after that happened, I'm like, like, damn, like, I can really do this shit. And it took me this long, though, like, my senior year, but I'm already 18. So I was like, damn, this nigga's 16, 15 doing this shit, going crazy. So it's already fucking me up in my head. So... Mike, Mike, nigga. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you this. It happens to the best of us because, like, even now, like, even where I'm at now, I'm not even. I'm not even like I'm happy with what I accomplished. Like, but you still I, hungry though. Yeah, when I tell y'all from where I came from, like, the story not even done, bro. If I tell y'all where I came from to where I'm at now, I got three million followers on TikTok. I've been, I've been in Floyd Mayweather Mansion. I've been with Antonio Brown. I've been fucking all over the place. I went to New York independently. LA independently, Texas independently, ATL independently. I'm so all the avenues this shit opening up for you, you would have never even thought. Like. Yeah, like I never had a manager, I never had nobody, bro. Like me, I got my own team, CNL. That's my own, my own company. So I can't even tell y'all boys. Okay. Only because you see this tat right here, CNL Glow. When I was 18, this is after I graduated. When I was 18, the nigga who started CNL. Uh, like he just got out of jail, right? It's my homie, my brother. He just got out of jail. He like, like bro, jail like fucked me up. He was telling me because I was already going down the fucking path. So he was kind of on my ass. He was like, bro, like out of all of us, you got the most talent, and like you can really put us on. And like, bro, three months. I felt like I think I got out of jail three months, bro. Like, bro, the man. He was like, I'm gonna go back in school. Like, I'm gonna try to do that. Like, I'm gonna stop all that. He was robbing niggas. He was doing a whole bunch of fuck shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's why he was in jail. But after he got out of jail, he was like, 
Fuck all this shit. Like we all, we was in a group chat. We was talking every day, like about like coming out the hood together. We could start a clothing brand. He go, he a rapper, so that's what he was gonna do. I'm a dancer, so I push that. We gonna get another rapper. We got a manager, CEO, whatever it is. You feel me? And bro, like three months after that, it did a clip on his ass, bro. They, 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 they. Fuck this whole car. He just got a car. Nice ass whip. Man trying to change his whole life. I think he got hit 12 times. Like type shit. Though. Damn. They sprayed That's his crazy. type shit. That's and crazy. I got fuck. the call. And like, this is the first time like somebody close to me died. You feel me? So, in my head, it was like... I don't even know if I could go to the hospital type shit. You feel but me? like this, this shows you right there, like okay, now I gotta. This a sign, like I gotta really switch this shit up and do this shit the right way, like it really play your better than them. Honestly, like it, I was already kind of going, but that right there, it was it, like, it, it, it fucked me up. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It only fucked me up though because. That was my first friend close to me that ever died type shit. So boom, he dies. I'm fucked up. I didn't go to the hospital at all. And that shit fucked me up mentally. So after that, eight months later, my grandma died. So the same year, my grandma died. And then, like, I had a, at the time, I had a girl. You feel me? A week after my grandma died, like, that shit fucked me up too. My girl cheated on me, like, I was working for like four years, she cheated on me like three. At the time, though, I was like 18. And it, it didn't register for real. Like, I was tripping. So then, I'm homeless now. So all of this shit happening. One year, you feel me? Yeah, all in one year. Bro. Yeah, yeah. 2018 was horrible. Bro, I'm going, I'm going through it. You gotta, hey, that's how the shit be yeah, though. And, and, I'll, and mind you. It make or break you. Yeah, yeah, it make or break you. This whole time I was grinding though. I'm taking the bus every day to go shoot videos. I'm going to the mall and stuff. Everywhere, bro. I'm, 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 I'm fucking around and had a tablet. I got on in the Mind you, I'm broken as fuck. Bro, I had an Android. And, I'm, and I'm, what I'm basically doing, my Android not even on. So basically what I'm doing is going to my friends and got my phone. Wi-Fi and shit, yeah. Yeah, and they, and they shoot the video and I post it on their phone and my shit. Or I, or I had a phone that wasn't on. Airdrop it, which I get the Wi-Fi and post that video. So that's pretty much how I was starting. So when I was homeless and shit, that's what pretty much pushed me. So all that shit, and then I was homeless. I'm sleeping in pools, like at a pool chair in a pool in a apartment, like pool bathrooms and shit, like dug in it, bro. Mind you, I'm like, damn, should I get a job or, or should I just keep pushing this shit? Because the whole time I didn't have a job, I was like, fuck it, because I feel like that, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Right, right, right. That's right. how they get you, bro. Throw you down. Yeah. You working a nine to five, you only got a couple hours to do so, it. Yep, yep. And if you don't have a car, the bus takes two hours. So I was like, damn. Sucking up your whole yeah, day. Yeah, the whole day gone. Yep. So I was like, fuck a job, bro. Every day. Every day. Bro, January 2nd. January 2nd. 2019, I remember like yesterday, it was my first 18,000 views, my first 18,000 views, and then after that, I ended up hitting 10K, like, I remember this shit like yesterday, I hit 18,000 views on January 2nd, 2019, whole 2018 was horrible, but the second of 2019, boom, okay, I keep grinding, my boy let me stay at a hotel with him, because he's working out, every day I'm going out, Every day, every day, bus. Even if I don't got the money, I'm asking the bus driver, can I get on the bus, please? Like, like, let me get a, just get the transfer. I get on the bus, I go in. Okay, boom. Okay. Every day, right? Now the views going up. My, my followers going up. I done hit a million on TikTok. And I ain't even fuck with TikTok. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, oh yeah, this him. I'm trying to make him money. I'm trying to get promo. All this shit's trying to come. I'm like, oh yeah. 
I'm shitting on my ex. I feel good. I'm shitting on my ex. That's the first thing I'm gonna say. That's it. Hey, I'm shitting on my ex, bitch. Thank you. Bitch, I'm living good. I ain't got shit to worry about, nigga. I'm gonna fuck it. Hey, that's all you need. What that shit? I'm gonna say, though. You hear me? Like, what it is. Good as fuck. She came back. Yo, you you good? How you feeling? I'm straight, baby. In love. Hey, I'm good. Love and joy. I'm good, love, enjoy. Yeah, how I'm feeling? What you mean? How I'm feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm good. <laughs> Life's great. Yo. Hey. So what one thing you got to tell anybody that's fucked up and trying to chase their dreams out here? Let them know. Like This is what I'm going to say. And I'm going to be so real. I ain't going to lie to you. I feel like what Kai said, he said, you got to do have a, have a little bit of luck. You have to have a little bit because anybody can anybody can go out and dance, but also it's the grind too. You gotta work your ass off. You gotta work your ass off. Even when you don't got it, even when you don't feel like it, you gotta work your ass off. That's the only way. Show that. Exactly. Hey, work your ass off. Network and get out there, be seen, nigga. Stop all that pussy ass me, money. Cause yeah, probably ain't only a lot of motion in the building too, man. A lot of motion. Hey, right now. Let them know. Hey, let them know. They can find you and all that shit. Where they tap in that? Yo, so y'all tap in Instagram, CNLJ, TikTok, CNLJ, X2. You know what I'm saying? Niggas really been working. Like, work. But the only thing is, though, what I learned about social media, I started a trend. Like, what I really what I really blew up off was what's up? The Lama Mella, Lama Mella, Lama Mella. Right, right, right. The shit had me turned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. The motion off of that was great. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bro, I want to go there. I mean, you want to go? That food truck world. No, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. One ninety two, nigga. Right across the street from the old, new first spot, bro. In old town. Okay. The Lama Mella story so funny, bro. It's so funny to me. I don't know about y'all, but well, look, my boy. I felt bad for him. He went through the same shit I went through, right? But I told him, I told him, I said, bro, your girl cheating on you, bro. I'm, I'm telling you now, like, she's showing all the signs my bitch did. I'm warning you. That bitch is cheating. He was like, nah. I'm like, you look like me. I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to say, you look like me, bro. <laughs> I try to believe in myself. <laughs> Boom, a week later. You tell me. Bro. She we broke later. up with me, bro. She cheated. I, I told you. But look, look, your birthday in a week. Let me do this for you. Because I ain't have nobody like this. I was like, fuck it. Let's go out. Let's turn it up. Let's get you some hoes, nigga. Yeah. Motion. Motion. Let's go. Bro, every day we out. Boom, boom, boom. One day we go to this party and die out. So we leave it from Kissimmee because we drive it like every weekend, every day. We leave it from Kissimmee, right up. We see a, we see trains and shit. Like a train, like, uh, like a train stop. Yeah. Other cars pulling in that bit. And it's random. So I'm like, what the fuck going on? Bro, earlier that day, I got a homeboy named Polo. He's Spanish. He tell me, yo. He literally told me this earlier this day, bro. He was like, it's a song uh, by El Life. I like it. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it right. I'm black and I'm drunk. I'm sorry. So they say, they say he just dropped a song like he's going crazy in the Spanish community. Right. So I heard it earlier that day. And I made a challenge to it earlier that day. We pull up in this party like it's in a little train type of area. Bro, right when we pull up. I open the door, I hear something immediately get turned on. And it's, and it's like a whole bunch of crowds for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a whole bunch of bitches. So I start like this. I hear the girl. I start doing like this. I just got a cameraman. So I'm like, who got your phone right now? Right, right, right. I'm the only, damn near the only black nigga besides the people I pulled up with. Right, right, right. Hanging out. Holding up. Like this. Okay, everybody, the whole town, they see me. They're like, oh! They start going crazy. I literally see the crowd coming. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but I was fucking. Yeah, you vibing, yeah. I'm like, yo, pull out your phone, pull out your phone, pull out your phone right now. Yo, you go crazy. He's fucking up. He's like, 
trying to hurry up. I'm like, pull out, pull out, pull out. And this is like the beginning of the song. Literally, what I practice is like, this is why I say I gotta be lucky. Like, how random is it that I pull up to a random ass? Right, right, right. And it just pop up like that. Yeah. It pop out. Right. So, everybody come in. I'm from that Bro, I post a video. I wake up, that bitch at 10 million. 10 million views. Okay. Whoa. I'm like, whoa. What the fuck? Bro, my followers skyrocketing. Right. So okay. I'm like, damn. All the Spanish bitches I was at that party, fucking with a nigga. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I so, am. And this is in the beginning of summer. So, what I didn't know about the Spanish community, they got most shit. Yeah. They let me know every party. Right. Every, everything that was right, going on. Right. Anything I did, they was coming to me. Right. Because, because, El Alfa, that's how they made the number. He ended up reposting me on the page. He, and basically in the Spanish, like he, he wrote something in Spanish, I got a homeboy, he's Spanish, so I was like, what did he say? Right, right, right. He was like, basically we brought the black culture to the Spanish culture. And it, he and bridged the gap. Like, and I was the first to do it type shit. That real. That's what he basically said. That real. And then he tagged me too, because he texted me. I didn't know of him like Right, right, right. But now I know that nigga got motion. Right. Them niggas in the Spanish out. Yeah, oh. yeah, definitely, definitely. They tapped in. Yeah. Hey, we trying to tap in with you now, so hey, the look, in, we want to help bridge the goddamn gap, so tap in. So, the in. The in the so, for sure. They gave me a lot of motion on that. Definitely. Like, that whole summer was a movie. For sure that. For sure that. For sure that. For sure that. Hang it out. That what it is. That what it is. Man, so see, that, yo, man, so that, yo, we got to man. Let them know. I'm gonna let y'all boys get. Yeah, we hanging you out. Know what I'm saying? Saying? We got to get you to the studio, but got yeah, definitely got to lock you in, man. Lock in, so you can get to the studio. I'm gonna tell you, y'all boys. Lock in. Hey, we hey, we hanging all night, so goddamn, look alive, goddamn it. We rocking and rolling all night. Oh yeah, it's all night, nigga. We'll be right back, nigga.